It's here in Washington, D.C., where a great deal of debate over abortion legislation takes place. And just steps away from lawmakers on Capitol Hill sits a pro-life group that doesn't work on policy for the unborn, but does work on protecting them. Here is this week's Pro-Life Focus. Hi, this is Janet Durig from the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center. I want to remind you about your appointment tomorrow at 2. As political debates over abortion rage on the campaign trail to Congress, one pregnancy care center does the work of the pro-life movement in the shadow of the nation's Capitol building. Janet Durig is executive director of the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center, which serves the women of Washington, D.C. Many want to keep their baby but don't know how, and so we offer material support as well as the pregnancy test. Like many pregnancy care centers, the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center offers material support like baby clothes, diapers, parenting and childbirth classes, and job referrals. And say she chooses life, so then we offer support in so many ways, not just the job we were talking about. And so material support, which is baby clothes and blankets and strollers and high chairs and um, anything that people donate to us, we give back to, to them. The center also offers healing for women who have undergone abortions. We make sure everyone knows that if you leave here choosing the abortion and you feel like you need to talk with someone, you are welcome to come back and there won't be any condemnation. Located less than one mile from the Capitol building, the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center strives to serve as not just aid to women, but as an example of the pro-life movement to the lawmakers nearby. I want our lawmakers to understand who we really are. We walk with them all the way through this situation, not just giving them a pregnancy test. And if they choose life, say, we're glad you chose life and go on your merry way. We walk with them through that pregnancy. That's an example we can all use. And the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center tells us they recently received an ultrasound donated by the Knights of Columbus. And while they are equipped with nurses, the pro-life clinic does not yet have a doctor licensed in D.C. to read and register the machine. So let's pray they soon find a doctor who is a great fit to use this life-affirming technology.